Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Treatment for Bipolar Disorder Introduction Bipolar disorder is a serious mental disorder. People with bipolar disorder have severe mood swings that can be frequent and last for a long time. These mood swings often cause abnormal and risky behaviors. In some cases, bipolar disorder may lead to suicide. It is estimated that up to 2% of the world population may have bipolar disorder. If not treated, bipolar disorder keeps getting worse as the mood swings become frequent and more severe. If treated, it can be managed and people can lead successful lives. This program explains the different treatments available for bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder Bipolar disorder is a serious brain disorder that affects people for their whole life. Bipolar disorder cannot be cured, but it can be managed with treatment. People with bipolar disorder experience unpredictable mood changes. A person with bipolar disorder may go from being very happy to very sad and depressed in a short amount of time and without any obvious reason. Bipolar disorder can also cause changes in energy and behavior. Bipolar disorder is also known as manic depressive illness. This is because people with bipolar disorder experience periods of mania and periods of depression. Mania is when people have elevated energy levels or an irritable mood. Depression is when people feel very sad and are much less active. Bipolar disorder is a long-term illness that must be carefully managed throughout a person's life. This disorder usually lasts a lifetime. Untreated, bipolar disorder can result in damaged relationships, poor job or school performance, and even suicide. Treatment Right now, there is no cure for bipolar disorder, but medications and psychotherapy can help control the symptoms of most people with bipolar disorder. Other treatment options are available if medications and psychotherapy do not help. Different types of medication can help reduce symptoms and prevent the recurrence of episodes. People respond to medications in different ways, so the type of medication depends on the patient. Sometimes a person needs to try different medications to see which are best. Medications can cause side effects. Patients should always tell their healthcare provider about these problems. Also, patients should not stop taking a medication without a healthcare provider's help. Stopping medications suddenly can be dangerous. It can make bipolar symptoms worse. Different kinds of psychotherapy can help people with bipolar disorder. During psychotherapy, a trained professional talks with the patient and sometimes with the patient's parents. The aim is to identify what triggers mood swings and determine how they can be minimized and controlled. Psychotherapy can help patients and their families change their behavior to reduce mood swings. It can also help patients get along better with family and friends. Some people do not get better with medication and psychotherapy. These people may try electroconvulsive therapy, or ECT. This is sometimes called shock therapy. ECT provides a quick electric shock to the brain that can sometimes improve the symptoms. Sometimes, people take herbal and natural supplements, such as St. John's wort or omega-3 fatty acids, to help with their bipolar disorder. Talk to your healthcare provider before taking any supplement. Scientists aren't sure how these products affect people with bipolar disorder. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Medication Side Effects Medications for treating bipolar disorder may cause side effects. Some medications have been linked to unique and serious symptoms. Some side effects can be life-threatening. Talk to your healthcare provider about possible side effects before beginning any new medication. Your pharmacist or psychiatrist can also answer any questions you may have about your medication. 
If you begin a medication and have any side effects, tell your health care provider right away. He or she may change the dose or prescribe a different medication. Many bipolar treatments require regular blood tests and visits with your health care provider. It is important to regularly schedule health care providers' appointments when taking medication for bipolar disorder. Different drugs can cause different side effects. Some common side effects of drugs used to treat bipolar disorder include loss of coordination, slurred speech, changes in vision. Other common side effects include itching or rash, swelling of the eyes, face, lips, or tongue, excessive thirst, digestive problems. Common side effects also include drowsiness, dizziness, headache. Common side effects also include mood swings, agitation, sexual problems. Other but much less common side effects include blackouts, seizures, hallucinations. Lithium, one type of medication used to treat bipolar disorder, may affect the thyroid gland. The thyroid controls mood and energy changes. Lithium may cause low thyroid levels, resulting in rapid cycling between mania and depression. Some side effects of bipolar medications affect only women. For instance, medications may cause PCOS or birth defects in women who are pregnant. If you take medications for bipolar disorder, you should be closely monitored for new or worsening symptoms. While taking these medications, you should not make any changes without talking to your health care provider. Sometimes, medications used to treat bipolar disorder may cause suicidal thoughts. If you or a loved one experiences suicidal thoughts, tell your health care provider. Worsening depression and suicidal thoughts may be more likely in teens and young adults. Families and caregivers should report any unusual changes in behavior to a health care provider. Psychotherapy Psychotherapy, or talk therapy, can provide support, education, and guidance to people with bipolar disorder. It can also help their families. There are four main types of psychotherapy that may be used to treat bipolar disorder. 1. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT. 2. Family-Focused Therapy. 3. Interpersonal and Social Rhythm Therapy. 4. Psychoeducation. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, helps people with bipolar disorder learn to change negative thought patterns. It also focuses on changing harmful behavior. Family-focused therapy is a type of psychotherapy that involves the family of people with bipolar disorder. It teaches families to cope, including how to recognize worsening symptoms and how to help their loved one. Interpersonal and social rhythm therapy helps people with bipolar disorder with daily life. This type of therapy focuses on improving relationships with other people and managing regular routines. Psychoeducation teaches people with bipolar disorder about the illness, as well as treatment options. It also helps people with bipolar disorder learn how to recognize when their symptoms are getting worse so they can seek treatment early. Psychoeducation may be done with family members. All of these types of psychotherapy are usually provided by a mental health professional. A mental health professional may be a licensed psychologist, social worker, or counselor. How often you have each session and the number of sessions you will have depends on your treatment needs. Just like taking medication, it is important to follow your health care provider's instructions for psychotherapy. This will provide the greatest benefit to you. ECT Electroconvulsive therapy, or ECT, is used to stimulate certain parts of the brain using small electric currents. It is sometimes used to treat bipolar disorder. ECT seems to cause changes to the chemistry of the brain. It is most often used only when other treatments are unsuccessful. People who undergo ECT receive an anesthetic. An anesthetic is a medicine that puts a patient into a sleep-like state. This prevents people from feeling any pain or discomfort during the procedure. Electrodes are then placed at precise locations on the head of the patient. 
Through the electrodes, an electric current passes through the brain. This causes a seizure that generally lasts less than one minute. Five to ten minutes after the procedure ends, the patient wakes up. After about an hour, the patient is usually alert and can resume normal activities. How often ECT is done depends on the patient's needs. ECT may need to be done regularly to prevent symptoms from returning. The most common side effects of ECT are confusion, headache, upset stomach, muscle spasms, muscle aches. Some people may also experience memory problems, especially of memories around the time of treatment. It is possible that a person may have gaps in memory over the weeks during which he or she receives treatment. ECT is a safe and effective treatment for bipolar disorder. As with any treatment, there are risks, but these are often not serious and usually temporary. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Bipolar disorder is a serious mental disorder. People with bipolar disorder have severe mood swings that can be frequent and last for a long time. These mood swings often cause abnormal and risky behaviors. In some cases, bipolar disorder may lead to suicide. People with bipolar disorder experience unpredictable mood changes. A person with bipolar disorder may go from being very happy to very sad and depressed in a short amount of time and without any obvious reason. Bipolar disorder can also cause changes in energy and behavior. There is no cure for bipolar disorder, but treatment can help you control your symptoms. Treatment works best when it is ongoing instead of on and off. Untreated, bipolar disorder can result in damaged relationships, poor job or school performance, and even suicide. But there are effective treatments. A combination of medications and psychotherapy usually work best. Thank you for using Explain.